that central striking role in the opening few seconds here. Torquay just happy to take time and, and look for an option. They have it through Nemain over on this right-hand side under pressure from Binham Williams and Harry Taylor can cover, but Nemain keeps it under his possession. The ball will now come in from Randall towards the far post. It's come to a Torquay man who's completely unmarked over on that left-hand side, back into the middle, and Binham Williams can scoop clear. Ephraim Mason Clark a little bit hesitant as he was trying to judge the bounce of the ball, but the cross is going to go almost all the way in. There's a header back across goal. Chance here, Torquay just not shooting, but they will opt to here. Loach brings the ball down. It's out to Hall. His shot is blocked, and it's hooked away by Richards Everton, but the Bees can't quite clear their lines, and a real let-off there for Barnett as they look to break now through Ephraim Mason Clark on his left-hand side. A few step-overs, and he leaves his man in the dirt, and he's beaten a second man too here. Ephraim Mason Clark and a third, and eventually... The referee calls a foul, but a real let-off there for Barnett, Kieran. Yeah, a very big let-off. It was a huge scramble in the area there, and obviously Lochi uh, done very well blocking blocking the shots there. But Mason Clark, I think, done fantastic work there, getting past one or two defenders and eventually winning the free kick. Good over it. Change of set-piece taker today already by the looks of it. It's in towards the two big men from the back. Richards Everton heads it towards goal, but it's comfortable for Sean McDonald. From Mason Clark's corner is in. Richards is there. Back out to Dan, who shoots low and drags it wide. Good opportunity there, you feel, for the bees. Yeah, it was a good opportunity. Um, made it very well there. Mason Clark winning the corner. And uh, good little corner routine. Haven't been so confident on set pieces, I think, in recent games. But that one nearly came to something. As you sat in game themselves, a top two affair against Sutton United. Ended 0-0. Here's a chance, though. And it's a shot, and it's in, and it's as easy as that for Ben Whitfield. Opens the scoring, seven minutes gone. And he just broke in behind the Barnet defence, and it was a fine finish into that bottom left-hand corner as Scott Loach looked. And the Bees will be disappointed with that because they had looked like they had matched Torquay United in the opening few minutes, but that's certainly less than ideal for Tim Flowers' side. Yeah, I think they were... Barnett would definitely start at the stronger side. You know, they're going to take a lot out of them. It's conceding early there, especially as Torquay haven't really offered much. But uh, that's why they're top, you know. They can score just like that. And the Bees, unfortunately, are 1-0 all down. Ben Whitfield's sixth goal Lee of and this Richard season. Everton dropping back. Harry Taylor to Ben and Williams. Left-footed crosses in towards Hooper. Heads it towards goal. He heads it against Baker Richardson. And the ball is into the top row of the north stand behind the goal. And it will be a Barnet corner. But good opportunity there as we look at the replay. Uh, yeah, it was a really good cross there from Ben and Williams. And uh, got ahead on it. But uh, not quite there with the shot. But we've got a corner. So hopefully something from there. Absolutely, he's kind of headed it against his own man, hasn't he, rather than towards goal. JJ Hooper, here is that corner. Ephraim Mason Clark, one arm raised. It doesn't beat the first man, but it's gone straight over the defender's head and it drops straight back in the box. Torquay couldn't quite clear that away at first, but they do eventually it behind him towards Daly. Now, another chance for, Bar uh, for Torquay to break down this left hand side. Lemon Hay Evans now manages to get a shot away and it hits the stanchion behind the goal and that was all too easy, that for Torquay there. Yeah, it was far too easy. No one seemed to really uh, challenge at all there. You know, Torquay suddenly broke and no real challenge. I think you see here, Loach tries to come out, commit to it and falls back and the defenders don't really support him there. Again, it's on that left wing where Whitfield, by the Score. referee, here comes Randall forward. That was... Nice slip through ball and now Torquay under no pressure and Loach had to make the save there with his legs from the shot of Armani Little. Again, Torquay in that final third, they're being given all too much space when they get into that running position. Ball is now in the main on this opposite side of the box and Binham Williams just has to get this clear again. Another example of Torquay being given too much time and space on the ball. Yeah, I think Torquay... Not aren't. ideal Barnet defending. Baker Richardson now, though, with the ball on the edge of the box, looking to try and get a shot away. He uses his forward partner, Hooper, to slip him in down the line and wins a corner kick. And that was a bit more like it from Barnett. That's what Tim Flowers will want to see going into the break. Yeah, it's a lot better breaking into the area, getting past the uh, talky defence and uh, win another corner. But 
Hopefully they can make a bit more at this corner this time than previous ones. Absolutely. Anthony Wordsworth over this one. It will be an out swinger. Ball is in towards the two big men at the back. Richards Everton gets his head onto it. Towards Harry Taylor who tries to flick it over McDonald, but McDonald punches it away. Judd now on his left hand side. Looking to bring the ball forward. And does win it eventually. Efron Mason Clark now with a crowd of white shirted players around him uses Anthony Wordsworth. Clips it towards Judd. Can Judd win a corner here? Yes, he can. I was speaking pretty much about standing by everything that he said to them at half time and uh, also said that we concede far too many easy goals and I think that's another one to add to the list that seventh minute strike from Whitfield Little back heels it to Mason Clark who will turn and clear but straight to Randall will get the ball straight back in and it's headed goalwards but over the crossbar that header from Sam Shering in an advanced position, the Bournemouth lonely. More than happy, just playing it around. Under no pressure. Now they look to break forward as Little gets into a crossing position and there's a tall key man on the slide, but Loach concedes a goal kick. Oh, it's a goal kick has been given. A little bit of confusion there as to whether that ball came off of the Barnet man or a tall key one. I mean, it definitely went out of play. Tall key players... A little bit of grip, not allowing Barnett too much space to get the ball forward. Straight to Daly, who's had a goes across to Binner Williams. First time cross is cleared, and now Daly will look to get the ball forward again under pressure from Armani Little though, towards Baker Richardson. It's come to Judd. Claims for a handball, not given. There's a good cross in towards Hooper. And, oh, that's a real good chance, that for Barnet, who heads it over. The Torquay players are furious. They feel Judd handled that one. But what a let-off that is for Torquay. Is that was a great cross. And JJ Hooper just heads it over. There's the claims for the handball. And Judd manages to deliver the cross. And Hooper, he just is too, too much under it and, and heads it over the bar there. So McDonald's clears this. Not quite. Daly. And there goes the half-time whistle. And it is the league leaders that lead here at the Hive by a goal to nil. We'll take this one. As the players venture over to this right-hand side. It's over Taylor and headed away by Little. Barnett claim for handball. Nothing given against Street. No Cameron can play it down the line, but it's going to be simple for Scott Loach. Great ball down the line from Binham Williams to Michael Trasso. Cross is in now and it's headed away and over the bar. But what a ball that was from Jerome Binham Williams down the side and immediately unleashing Michael Petrasso. Yeah, like we say in Petrasso, he, has, he, he does have something different and already we've seen that. Uh, but yeah, first of all, really good ball from Binham Williams to get him going in the first place. So, uh, And now we've got a corner, so hopefully we can make something here. Joe Lewis really had to be alert there, not to turn that into his own goal as he headed it over his crossbar. Petrasso will take this corner kick. It will be an in-swinger with the right foot of the Canadian. In towards Hooper. Doesn't quite get his head onto it. Barnett players calling for a handball. Nothing given. It's headed back in towards the box by Dunn and now it's over towards Michael Petrasso. Brings the ball down with his chest. Hooked up more than out by the talky defence. Wordsworth heads it in, but it's can use... Wordsworth, he plays it straight to the feet of Baker Richardson. Ben and Williams, infield to James Dunn, who with a Wordsworth alongside him has looks a little bit more assured today than he did midweek. Petrasso there giving the ball away as Judd had pushed forward, further than he fought, and then Lemon Hay Evans got a little bit lucky there with that touch that fell away from Liam Daly, and now it's infield towards Nemain, who gets the ball to his feet and, talk, and he just manages to kick his own teammate there as Torquay get another shot in Wordsworth does well to block that down and here come Barnett on the counter attack Michael Petrasso has two options ahead of him needs to find someone and doesn't quite get the ball through the first half 
Hooper flicks it over his man, gets an advantage, looks to slip through Baker Richardson, but the referee comes back for that free kick. Pass side does keep it in play, though. And here's Armani Little. And Judd has to get to that, but doesn't quite do it fully. And here's Whitfield to double his tally and double Torquies, but it's a good save from Scott Loach. Things like that when he hasn't had too much to do this half. Kyle Cameron allowed to bring the ball forward and clipped it over the top and that's a great ball over the top and Ben Whitfield I'm not sure how many more opportunities he's going to get but he drifted in behind the Barnet defence there but dragged his shot wide of the post oh, sorry it's not not Whitfield it is Rob Street in the end the 24 not the 34 in between Ben and Williams and Richards Everton Barnet players just looking at each other there. Here is Andrews once more. Looks to unleash a shot and does. And what a finish that is from Jake Andrews. Off he goes in celebration. His first of the season. And that could be that here at the Highview Fear. They just gave Jake Andrews far too much time and space and he has punished Barnet there yeah he was too much time too much space and um, it came out of nowhere really you know but the key was they weren't closing him down he saw the opportunity and he took it and like you said I think that could be it it's good work from Adam Randall to bring the ball forward and then Jake Andrews unleashed a fierce left footed strike that bounces past the agonising dive of Scott Loach He's got all too much space there, and that's about you. I'd quite like to see that talky v Ultringham game. I was very impressed with Ultringham when they came here the other night. Should be quite an in interesting game down at Plainmore. Of course, our attentions will be on older shot. Keep abreast of the website on how to get the streaming details for that one. Torquay look to really finish this game off here. Here's Nemain. Four minutes added on. Nemain looks to get a shot away, kills it. Straight down the throat of Scott Loach, though. We wait for this corner to be taken by Jake Andrews. It's going to be straight in down the throat of the goalkeeper. And there is the full-time whistle in the end. It is disappointment for the Bees as they fall to yet another defeat. This time to the league leaders. Torquay United who have stretched their advantage at the top of the Vanarama National League. Goals from Ben Whitfield and Jake Andrews. The difference.